Okay, so first off, we need to get the right tools for the job. So these are the tools that I'm going to be using. Uh, I've got a wrench with an 8mm socket on it. And I've also got an extension stick um, to use a T20, I believe, Torx for the uh, bottom two bolts. And obviously the faithful magnet in case you drop your bolts um, near the engine. And a plastic lever to uh, stop you from damaging the trim. Okay, so first off we're going to remove, you've got two bolts on the top, one each side, 8mm. And then with the lower ones you've got options, you can use either the Torx or the 8mm socket for there. And then the other one, a little bit more difficult to see, um, what I'll do is I'll put the torch on. Okay, you can just see it down there, little rusty thing glowing just in front of your finger. So uh, obviously that's where you need the extension to access those bolts. So I'm gonna remove those and then I'm gonna loosen the trim with a plastic lever and just prise it inside there and we should be able to slide the uh, headlight out. So to start removing the uh, trim underneath the headlight, uh, use your plastic tool, just literally push in in the front of it and then you can pull that little section out there on the front corner. So removing the end piece of this plastic trim under the headlight, I use this particular tool, got it right in deep. I must admit, it didn't feel comfortable. It did feel like uh, quite a lot of pressure needed to be put it on it and then it just snaps out of place. Fortunately, it's not broken. It's still intact, but you can just see uh, the inside there and there's a piece of plastic that sits inside the metal cutout to secure it. So um, once the other two bolts are removed from the bottom, uh, it is awkward to see the lower one. My one's rusty, so um, which is a bit of a pain. So I'm gonna have to get that out. You can just see it's on there. Once make sure your, um, your hatch to get to your bulbs is removed. Uh, the little plastic cover, this one. But all the bolts are removed, so unplug all the connectors. There's quite a few of them on this light. I think there's something like five connectors in total. So uh, with all those removed, I'm going to slide out the light and then replace it with a new one. So the tricky bit on the removal was detaching the headlight from this plastic because it seems to be on a extender type situation so um, you have to get that out and then carefully unhook it but um, the hooks all right so you can see on the side view there so you've got these little plastic hooks so they literally dig underneath the uh, the plastic for the front so unhinge them and then your headlight will come out easily so yeah, be very careful with this, obviously it is fragile. Um, after removing it from the corner, it sort of remains attached. Um, I may look at trying to get around that. Uh, if you've got the headlight wash in your um, front piece of trim, is to actually remove this. To remove it, literally pull it out on the arm and you can just literally wriggle it. Obviously I've already removed mine, but it does just pull out. So this makes life a lot easier by removing that. Then obviously you can remove your trim without damaging it too much. So that comes out and you do get, with your new headlights, you get this trim. So if you find it won't go in properly, it's probably because you've uh, still got this on and you've still got your original one in the car. Um, mine's a bit damaged. So uh, in order to remove that, obviously you have to take off your headlight screen wash, your headlight wash, and you've got two bolts. There was one in just underneath there, eight mil, and then another eight mil the other side. So then uh, obviously once the wash is off, you can slide it forward and uh, bin it. And then put your nice new one on. So that will go in place. Uh, I did actually find that this is different. So if you look on the, the back, of this new piece is uh, is going up. 
well, the original old one, it was flat. So I couldn't get my alignment, so this is the reason why. So I had to take out my original ones anyway. So the new ones will go in and hopefully that will make life a lot easier. So when you're removing the headlight bracket, you've got little tabs in there for the uh, wash for your headlamps. So you can see these bits here. So you just literally get the screwdriver in and just lever them out. Um, they will be a little bit brittle, so be careful with them. Um, and then obviously that releases the, uh, the bracket for the headlight. And ready for your new one. As you can see on the new one, you got the little runners just in there, each side for these two bits, each side to slide into. And then you've got obviously your two 8mm bolts, one each side. You can see them a bit more clearly there. Nice, nice and rusty on my one. And there's the other one. So um, secure your bracket in place. Um, just make sure these two flanges are above the lip on the bumper um, so the headlight can rest into them. And then you can secure it and line it up.